Hello, hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, determine the force in each member of the truss, state if the members are in tension or compression. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. So we have a simply supported here truss structure and uh, uh, we have uh, a roller supported A and uh, a hinge supported C and uh, a single uh, concentrated point load at uh, joint D. Right, so let's begin the work. First, first things first, uh, we draw the free body diagram. Uh, we have uh, uh, a vertical reaction there we are calling A1. Here we have uh, two reactions, Cy and Cx. So let's apply the equations of equilibrium so that we find what these reaction forces are. To start with, we are going to say summation of moments about point C equal to zero, anti-clockwise being our reference. Okay, so what do we have? We have a minus moment Ay by 8 and then we have a plus 450 a plus 450 by 4 equal to 0 therefore our ay is just going to be equal to so 450 by 4 divided by 8 this gives us a 225 a 225 pounds great and then summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero going up in our reference what do we have we have a1 plus c1 equal to zero we've already found what a y is so we just need to replace it where it's supposed to go there and once we've replaced it, then we'll find that our CY is just equal to minus 225 pounds. And then finally, we have the summation of forces in the X direction equal to 0, going in this direction being our positive. Then we have CX, we have CX minus 450 equal to 0. And therefore, our CX is as equal to 450 pounds. Great. So we can replace these values. AY, we found that it is 225. CY, we say the direction has changed. It's like this. And this is equal to uh, 2252. And then CX is just equal to 450. Great. All right. So let's do a quick inspection of our structure. And once we've done our quick inspection, we realize that member BD is a zero force member. But what is a zero force member? Okay. What is a zero force member? All right. It's a member with zero internal force. All right, but then how do we find it? Like in this case, we are saying BD is a zero force member because when you look at joint, okay, when you look at joint B, even if you were to apply the equations of equilibrium at joint B, you realize that BD is equal to zero. All right, so there is one principle that you can always use which you can validate by applying the equations of equilibrium if you have time to say if you have three truss members so let's say you have a b okay three truss members that forms a truss joint three truss members forming one truss mm -hmm. joint so let's say this side is a c okay and then we have another one there which is a d Okay, so we have three trust members, and if two uh, trust joints are collinear, that is, they are in a straight line, okay, 
Therefore, it means the third member is going to be a zero force member on condition that, on condition that joint B, there is no applied external force or there is no support reaction force at joint B. When any of these conditions is met, either no applied force or no external reaction force or no both no reaction force and no applied force so you can have here we are saying the condition that will make bd equal to zero is one no uh, external applied force at b or no uh, reaction force at B or no external applied force and no reaction force at B, okay? So these are the condition, okay? So we are saying when there is no external force applied at B or no external, uh, no reaction force applied at B or no external force and no reaction force, okay? Then you can say with the confidence that member BD is equal to, the internal force in member BD is zero, okay? It's very, very important. Because when any of this is at B, then you cannot say BD is equal to zero. You have to do the analysis. Great. So this is one condition. There are two conditions. Uh, this is one condition for this particular case. There is another condition which says uh, when you have two members, let's say this is member A, B, Two members that are non-collinear, that forms one truss joint, two, two truss members that are non-collinear. They are not in a straight line. Okay. All right. So when you have two members like this, and then if B, joint B, has no applied force or no reaction force, no reaction force or no applied force and no reaction force. When any of that condition is met, where you don't have anything applied at B, then you can confidently say that AB is equal to BC is equal to zero. Okay. For this case, for this case, uh, for this case, only BD is equal to zero. Okay, so this one condition at B, joint B, we are saying no applied force or no external reaction, okay, or no both. All right, the same applies also here at joint B for the, this case, no applied force or no external uh, reaction force, okay, or no both. All right, when that condition is met, then you can say BD is equal to zero. For the other case, when that condition is met, then you can say AB is equal to BC is equal to what? Is equal to zero. Great. Great, great, great. So it's very, very vital to do that because it makes your work easier. But if you do not want to do that, you can as well apply the equations of equilibrium. All right. So we have said BD is equal to BD is equal to zero, zero pounds. Okay, which you can prove. If you took this joint there, you took joint B, you have this BA, you have a BC, you have a, a BD, and then you said summation of forces in the Y direction equal to zero. What will you find? You find BD equal to zero. Okay, so you can prove that if you use this joint uh, B. Okay, is that fine? Great. So we found one case. So which joint do we go for? It's up to you. It's time really matter. So let's go for joint 
uh, joint A. Okay. So joint A, what do we have? Joint A, uh, let's say this is intention, which is AB. And then we have uh, an applied, I mean, external reaction force there to, to five. Then let's say this one is uh, in compression. Let's call it AD. And what's the angle? Let's look at this. This length is four. Okay. And then this height is also four. So what do you think this angle is going to be? 45. Great. This is 45. This is 45 degrees. And also this is 45 degrees. Great. So let's find these components there. We have this component. Then we have this component. This is AD. We said this angle there, it is 45. So this is AD cos 45. And then this is AD sine 45. But we know that sine is equal to uh, sine 45 is equal to cos 45. Right, let's start with uh, the y direction vertical. So summation of forces in the y equal to zero. What do we have? Uh, what we have is the following. We have uh, a 225. Okay, let me use black. We have 225 mm -hmm. minus AD sine 45 equal to 0. And therefore, our AD is just going to be equal to Grab your calculator, 425 divided by sine 45. And this gives us a 318.20. I think okay, pounds. And then, is it in compression or tension? Look at the direction that you assumed and you look at the result. If the result has no change of sign, then it means the direction that you assumed is the correct one. So we can say this one is in compression. Okay. Then we have summation of forces. Okay. We have summation of forces in the x equal to zero. What do we have? Um, we have a b minus AD cos 45 degrees equal to zero. We've already found what AD is, so we just replace it there. And when we've done so, then we'll find that our AB is just equal to 318.20 times cos 45. So we have a Two two five pounds. So you look at the direction that you assumed, and if the result you found has no change of direction, then it means the assumed direction is the correct one. Therefore, it is in tension. Great. So let's move on to the next step. Let me just uh, do that. And then maybe move this a little bit this side. Okay. All right. I think we can just leave it there. Let's go to another joint. We've gone to this joint. Uh, we can go to joint B quickly. Joint B. Okay, joint B, what do we have? Okay, we know what this is, it's a zero. Okay, and then we just, we are just from finding A, B, which is a 2, 2, 5. This is B. This one here was A. And then we have this other one here, B, C. We just apply one equation there. We just need one equation. Okay, 
you just need one equation there so summation of forces in the x equal to zero uh what do we have we have minus two two five plus bc equal to zero and therefore our bc is just equal to two two five pounds and uh, this member is also in tension okay so now let's go to the last one but not the least uh joint uh joint c so what do we have joint c there we go joint c we have uh, this uh, bc which is just equal to 225 and then you have this other member here i mean you have this reaction force here which is the 450 and then you have this other one here going down you have this one there going down which is equal to 225 then let's say this one is uh, in tension, okay? Doesn't matter which direction you choose, it, uh, the equations will always correct you, okay? So this is CD. And CD is going to have two components. It will have one vertical component like so, which is CD uh, sine 45. And then we'll have another one in that direction, which is CD uh, cos 45. Okay. So let's start with uh, the Y direction. Summation of forces in the Y equal to zero. Going up in our reference. So we have minus 2 to 5, then plus CD sine 45 okay and then our cd is just equal to uh, 225 divided by sine 45 this gives us a 318 a 318.20 pounds and cd is for sure in tension okay all right let me just uh, create this boundary here then let's continue then let's have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. Oh, we don't need that for now okay sorry oh great so we have found everything that needs to be found we have one two three four five one two three four five great so we have BD, okay, equal to zero, okay, it's a zero force member, which you can prove using the equations of equilibrium, and we did that. We have AD is uh, in compression, AD is in compression, okay, where is AD, this one, mm -hmm. we have AB, AB is in tension, AB is in tension, yeah then we have bc bc also is supposed to be in tension okay and then finally we have cd cd is also in tension okay all right so we have three members in tension and then one in compression then the other one is zero force member great so i think this is about it and i hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast